Hello! Today I'm going to be doing my first YouTube tutorial. It's on a style, my signature style, that I get a lot of compliments on. I actually used to call it Seedy Twist because it reminded me of Seedy from The Color Purple and a hairstyle that she had in the film. But the other day at work, someone had told me that it looked like a crown. And I've been told that a few times, so I've decided to change the name from Seedy Twist to Crown Twist. Um, my hair is... I just got it trimmed because my ends were raggedy. I got it trimmed and blow dry, so this is how it looks. And yeah, so it's definitely stretched out. You can do it on air dried hair. I've done it on air dried hair. I personally prefer it on blow dried hair, but that's just my personal preference. You can air dry it, you can blow dry it, whatever works best for you. The inspiration for this style was Tracy Ellis Ross, aka Joan from Girlfriends. When I first saw her hair, I was like, when I go natural, I need to do that style. She actually calls hers the milkmaid braid. She wrote like a cute blog post about it, which I'll link below. She cornrows her hair, but I really don't know how to cornrow. I do, but it's very sloppy looking. So I decided to do twist instead. So typically what I use when I'm doing the style is a tail comb, a wide tooth comb, and a brush. And I also use bobby pins, depending on how like straight my hair is. That usually determines how many bobby pins I need. When I have my hair freshly blow dried, I don't need a lot of bobby pins. I could probably use maybe two. But when my hair is not blow dried and it's very like kinky and coily and coarse and not straight enough, I usually get use a lot of bobby pins just to kind of pat some parts down. I'll just show you. I just comb my hair. Just comb my hair. You don't have to if you don't want to. I know some people don't comb their hair. Um, I sometimes don't comb my hair when I'm doing it, um, cause I just, it depends. I, sometimes I comb my hair, sometimes I don't. I'm going to link below a Flat Twisted 101 video from Layla, also known as Fusion of Cultures, Cultures, Fusion of Cultures here on YouTube. I actually learned how to flat twist from her. I watched this video, I think it was like in 2011 or 2012, 2012, and literally since I watched that video, I've just gotten better and better at flat twisting. Not only if I could cornrow, really neatly. But this is how I just separate this piece right here, just take it, and then link my finger here, grab another piece, and then you just twist it. You just twist it. You don't want to do it too tight because you want that crown effect. So don't do it too close to the scalp. Um, I mean, you can, but I just ha I'm just going to leave it like this. And then you'll see what I do at the end. Um, I'm actually twisting it closer than I normally would. Um, only because if I twist it too loose, they'll unravel. So, and then while you're doing that, you're always making sure... Let me go back to show you, making sure that you're grabbing the hair right here from the back. You're grabbing the hair from the back. See, you're grabbing it. Okay, so you're grabbing it here like that. And then you twist it all the way to the end. Keep going down. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. And then that's how it looks. I'll show you the back so you can see. This is the back, how it looks. So then we're going to take care of this side. I always like this side to be bigger, my right side, because I'm right-handed. This is my favorite side. And actually, this is my good side. But I do like it to be, like, this part more hair, because I want that crown effect, that, that halo effect. So, I take this piece here. I just grab it and I do it loosely but not too loose and then I keep going going all the way down keep going keep yeah keep going So now what I do at this point, I got my twist, I pull it out a little bit, I do a little, do a little pull in action, you know, and then for this side, this twist, I'm going to redo it because it doesn't look nice, um, so I'm just going to redo it loosely, redo it loosely, very loose, 
Yes, like this is better for me. Yes, this right here. My hair is, you know, very straight, so I don't need that many. But usually when it's not this straight and like my middle is so like kinky and you know sticking up i may put a couple in there just to flatten it down you know get it laid a little bit in addition to adding some gel as well take my body pin and then i go to the back see me hopefully and then i just clip it on its side I keep it to the side you can intertwine them and connect them by twisting them together i've done that before but i usually just do that at night because i don't like to sleep with bobby pins in my hair at night so at night i may twist it together but for like typical day to day, I do not. I usually keep them on their side. Because I think that helps to give that crown effect more, which I'll show you. You'll see. At least the look that I'm going for. So then I clip the right side, kind of in the middle of the chair. Oh, this one needs to be reclipped. Oh, no, no, no. And I like it to just, I don't like for you to see my bobby pins in the back. But you like it to, you know, not show. But yeah, so this is how I do it. And I pull it out, you just pull. That's why I like keeping them on their own side because I'm able to really pull them out, maneuver them, give me my crown action, you know, my little halo. Maybe I might add a bobby pin here. I don't really need to, but. Just because I want to, I will. And then one right here. It's not even that like serious, but I, I want to, I want to. It's a little bit too, yeah, so this is how it looks. Add some gel to you know right here and lay it down I'm not going to I will brush it a little bit just a little bit my edges are actually recovering when I went to Ghana I got Senegalese twist done and I left them in too long and it literally snatched my edges out I so I'm just grateful for my edges and yeah I'm not gonna do too much with that. So I looked in the mirror and I do like it, but I wanted them to connect more in the back. I don't like them to look like they're both on two separate sides and not united. Um, so I kind of like squinched them together a little bit right here, like that. And then I definitely think I'm gonna use another bobby pin somewhere on this side, just to like pin this down a little bit. Honestly, you just have to play with it. I always carry bobby pins because I may leave the house and I like it. Then I get to work, I'm like, this is not going to work. So then I add more bobby pins. So bobby pins truly is at your discretion. Typically for me, I add some up here because my hair is really thick. So I usually add them to the roots to flatten them down. Um, in this case, I don't really need to because it's blow dry. And then I usually add them to the back to like right here just so they protrude out more and look more like a crown. I want to add one right here. I think so. Yeah, so I think this is how it's going to be. Let me see. Slow it down so you can see. And then turn around. Notice this one back here is showing. And I don't like that, so I'm actually just going to take it out. Maybe I'll just stick it in like closer here to hide here and then bring this down more yeah so like that it's weird because it's like I don't want it to look too flat but I do want it to kind of be laid so the crown protrudes out that's why I said honestly you just have to play with it you have to use your discretion and also according to your preference like what you like I like it to look like a crown. That's my tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming it. I hope it helps someone. It's definitely my signature style. I do this style all the time and I get a lot of questions. So I just wanted to share. There's going to be other great videos here on the channel.
channel, so stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, if you have not checked out my Ghana vlogs, I went to Ghana recently in the summer for 12 days, and I uploaded each day of my trip here on YouTube. So you can check out that playlist. I'll leave it below. Check out my blog, alldensonmamama.com, and stay tuned for the space in this channel because I have some great videos coming up, especially before the year ends. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, good night, good evening, good morning, great week. Oh, baby, you